Welcome and thanks for joining us. Hurricane season is officially here. I'm Craig Setzer. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. For the first time ever, hurricane season comes amid a pandemic. But pandemic or not, atmospheric conditions dictate if and where storms will form and where they will go. So we begin with a forecast. Craig. So there's several ingredients we look at during an upcoming hurricane season. One is just the basic background activity. Is it above normal in terms of the past several years? That's a yes. Our hurricane seasons have been above normal. Another ingredient is what's going on out in the main development region. This is the area we watch very carefully, especially in August, September, and October for development out here because a lot of the major hurricanes that we get in South Florida have an origin somewhere out here in the tropical Atlantic or even in the eastern or central Caribbean. And what plays a role in how strong the hurricanes could be? It's the temperatures out here, the ocean temperatures, and in this case, right now at least, they are running above normal. So this is something we're going to watch as we go through the hurricane season. Are these temperatures cooling off or are they staying above normal? That's the Atlantic. Now on the other side, there's the Pacific, and it's down here in the tropical eastern Pacific that we have our El Nino, La Nina region. El Nino is typically warmer than normal waters, and that creates wind shear, and that wind shear is usually disruptive for hurricanes. In this case, the forecast is for neutral or weak La Nina conditions. That's not something we want to see because weak La Nina down here usually means that the disruptive wind shear, the wind shear that disrupts hurricanes, is lower than normal in the Atlantic and that would typically lead to more of an active type of season. So what is the official hurricane season forecast? The experts at Colorado State University forecast there will be 16 named storms, 8 hurricanes, and four of them strengthening into major hurricanes. The season averages are 12 named storms, six hurricanes, three major hurricanes. Lauren, back to you.